Aaron, what do you think about the uh, the moves the front office made and some of the additions that are coming here as reinforcements? I'm excited about it. I haven't seen all the moves we made. You know, getting ready for the game, I haven't really checked in too much, but I know tonight I'll be, you know, checking Twitter and seeing what what's going on. Um, I know, especially for the guys that we got from Oakland, um, I'm, I'm excited about it. I had a chance to face them, you know, quite a few times over the years, and um, looking forward to seeing them in pinstripes, that's for sure. You think Montas will help this team and help this rotation down the stretch? Uh, he's just a do dominant starter. Um, been a dominant starter for quite a while now, and he's got some ridiculous stuff, and i um, just happy that I don't, we don't have to face that down the road again. What makes him a challenging guy to face when you're in the box? Montas? Uh, just a good heater, uh, splitter combo. You know, he mixes that slider in there as well. Um, just he works the edge as well. You know, he's a guy that's not afraid to throw inside and um, you know, kind of throw. You know, most guys with splitters have don't have a good feel for it, but he's got a great feel for that splitter, which you know, kind of keeps you honest a little bit. So um, no, he's just a guy that's got the velo, but also can work the corners. Aaron, the year that DJ is having, how much of an impact has that had on the year that you're having? Uh, like I've said every single day, it's uh, my teammates are the ones that are, you know, helping me out this year, and I'm trying to just match their energy and match what they're doing, especially when you got DJ LeMay at the top of the lineup, you know, hitting close to 300 and constantly on base, constantly working the count, um, you know, constantly you know, getting me up there with guys on base, guys in scoring position. You know, it, it helps everybody. And the man behind you in the lineup, Anthony Rizzo, particularly in the first inning, has gotten you off to a lot of big leads early. Yeah, no, he's he's been great, um, especially being able to jump out like that, especially after the um, the loss last night, and then coming out here and getting three, you know, on a great starter like uh, like Marco. It's uh, that, that was a big time for us. Aaron, you guys raced off to such a great start anyway. I mean, more than a start now. Um, when you look at Benatendi and Montas and the two relievers you got in, how much better can this team even be? Oh, you can. You can always improve. Um, there's ways to improve. I don't, I don't think anybody in this room, I don't think this team is satisfied with what we've done so far. You know, we've gotten off to a great start, but, um, you know, we kind of, as a team, you know, did our part, and I think the front office is, you know, doing their part now. Aaron, what's the feeling you hear when a, like, when a team, when your front office goes out and gets you guys what you need as you guys are playing so well? What, what's that feel like for you guys? Oh, it... It's, it's a good feeling. I, it's, it's, it's tough to describe because, you know, usually don't focus on that. We just focus on playing. But, um, you know, kind of getting that back in from the front office, knowing that, hey, you guys put yourselves in position, you know, to be in a good spot going down the stretch into the postseason. You know, we're going to give you a couple give you a couple pieces to kind of, you know, boost you guys a little bit and, you know, fill some holes where we need them. Aaron, being player of the week, back-to-back -back weeks, what does that mean to you? Oh, it's great. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying not to think too much about it. Like I said, it's uh, more excited about the win we got today than anything. And um, yeah, I, got, I got nothing. <laughs> Aaron, what has what stood out to you about Jose's offense this season? Trevi, wow. Uh, just consistent. You know, big moments he's coming through for us. He had the two homers tonight. You know, he went into, you know, deep, deep center. You know, very few guys go out there to Monument Park. You know, he did it with ease. Um, but then also working singles, works to count. He's a tough at bat. You know, anywhere he's at in the lineup, even if he's at the bottom of the lineup, you know, getting a chance to turn the lineup over and get DJ and all of us up. That's that's what makes for a winning ball club, you know. So it's just been impressive to watch, um, impressive to ask him. He's another guy. He's, he's a catcher, so he sees a lot of pitches, but also getting a chance to pick his brain. Like, hey, what did you see that last at bat? What was he throwing? What was the pitch doing? You know, he's knowledgeable and he's always on top of it.